In this video we share St. Michael the Archangel's February 6, 2022 message to Luz de Maria. Beloved of our King and Lord Jesus Christ. With love and faith in the Omnipotent, be life for every heart. I invite you to look at what is happening on earth and not just look at what is happening around you. This blindness leads to the ignorance of those who say that nothing is happening. The earth is plunged into darkness. This darkness does not come from outside, but from the ungodly actions that lurk in men. You are experiencing a moment where infidelity has invaded the environment in which man lives, who welcomed it with pleasure and this is leading him to serious baseness. The infernal spirits, who know men and their weaknesses for the sins of the flesh, have prepared the strategies and unleashed such immorality, which has overcome the sins of Sodom and Gomorrah. The faithfulness of humanity towards the Holy Trinity and our Queen and Mother of the Last Times is stunning, in fact you will be witnesses with horror and dismay to the cause of the schism of the Church. Children of our King and Lord Jesus Christ. Infidelity to divinity causes scientists to allow themselves to be motivated to use science to harm their own brothers. You must fear the military power of the strongest powers, because they have at their disposal weapons which have not been shown to humanity, and which have great destructive power. Families have been transformed into places of individualism and cruelty, into places of desolation and they are no longer places of formation, nor places of love, this is a result that goes in the direction of what the elite expected. Suffering for humanity will continue. Strange noises will rise from the ground, which will be the screeching of moving tectonic plates, in preparation for strong earthquakes. The earth has become intoxicated with the sins of human generations and, as part of humanity, you know that the Third World War is coming. People of God, the powers are provoking each other. Wars hide their interests and in this moment the poor economy of one of these powers prevails and the desire for territorial expansion of another power, which has spread its ideology all over the earth, fomenting communism and revolutions which, after all, are part of the preamble to the war. People of God, the disease that has affected all of humanity, is part of the silent war that started the Third World War. Pay attention to the signs and the signals, see how nature will invade the earth and lead man to suffer. The elements will give no respite. Pray, children of our King and Lord Jesus Christ, Keep in mind that a confabulation will arise against some personalities of global importance, which will unleash the fury among the powers. Pray, children of our King and Lord Jesus Christ, pray, Rome will suffer up to the impossible. Italy will suffer greatly. Pray children of our King and Lord Jesus Christ, pray without stopping, pray and fulfill actively, in the likeness of the divine way of doing and acting. Practice brotherhood, nourish yourselves with the body and blood of our Divine Redeemer, present in the Holy Eucharist, love our Queen and Mother, pray the Holy Rosary. Prepare to become true children and first of all be love, be obedient and keep the faith even when, in the face of what you will see, you are afraid. Don't lose your faith. Be perseverant, without diverging to what is apparently easy and safe. The people of God will never be abandoned. We are ready to defend you against the infernal powers, so that you do not succumb to evil. Divine blessing continuously comes down on his faithful children. Do not be afraid, instead have the certainty of the divine power, which is above all power. Our Queen and Mother remains adamant on humanity, who will enter chaos and by divine design, in the moment of desolation, will break out as mother of divine mercy to give help to the children of God. In union with the sacred hearts, I bless you. Prepare yourself children of God and convert, now. Receive love from above. Street Michael the Archangel. Hail Mary most pure, conceived without sin. Hail Mary most pure, conceived without sin. Hail Mary most pure, conceived without sin. What follows is commentary by Luz de Maria. Brothers and sisters. 
united as the mystical body of Christ, let us pray. O, oh, most glorious Saint Michael the Archangel, Prince and Chief of the Heavenly Armies, Guardian and Defender of Souls, Guard of the Church, Victor, Terror and Dismay, of the rebellious infernal spirits. We humbly ask you to deign to free us from all evil who have recourse to you with trust, may your favor protect us, may your strength defend us, and that through your incomparable protection we can make ever more progress in serving the Lord. May your virtue spur us every day of our life and especially in the passing of death, so that defended by your power from the infernal dragon and all its attacks, when we leave this world we can be presented by you before the Divine Majesty, free from any guilt. Amen. Luz de Maria de Bonilla is a Catholic mystic, stigmatist, wife, mother, Third Order Augustinian, and prophet from Costa Rica, currently residing in Argentina. She grew up in a very religious home with great devotion to the Eucharist, and as a child, experienced heavenly visits from her guardian angel and the Blessed Mother, whom she considered her companions and confidants. In 1990, she received a miraculous healing from an illness, coinciding with both a visitation from the Blessed Mother and a new and more public calling to share her mystical experiences. Soon she would fall into profound ecstasy not only in the presence of her family, her husband and eight children, but also of people close to her who began to gather to pray, and they, in turn, formed a prayer cenacle, which accompanies her to this day. It was on March 19, 1992, that the Blessed Mother began to speak regularly to Luz de Maria. Since then, she has mostly received two messages per week and on occasion, only one. The messages originally came as internal locutions, followed by visions of Mary, who came to describe Luz de Maria's mission. I had never seen so much beauty, Luz said of Mary's appearance. It's something you can never get used to. Each time is like the first. Several months later, Mary and Saint Michael the Archangel introduced her to our Lord in a vision, and in time, Jesus and Mary would speak to her of coming events, such as the warning. The messages went from being private to public, and by divine command, she must communicate them to the world. Many of the prophecies Luz de Maria has received have already been fulfilled, including the attack on the Twin Towers in New York, which was announced to her eight days in advance. In the messages, Jesus and Mary express their profound sadness over man's disobedience of the divine law, which has led him to align with evil and act against God. They warn the world of coming tribulations, communism and its coming peak, war and the use of nuclear weapons, pollution, famine, and plagues, revolution, social unrest, and moral depravity, a schism in the church, the fall of the world economy, the public appearance and world domination of the Antichrist, the fulfillment of the warning, the miracle, and the chastisements, the fall of an asteroid, and the change of terrestrial geography, among other messages. All this is not to frighten, but to urge man to turn his gaze toward God. Not all of God's messages are calamities. There are also proclamations of the resurgence of true faith, the unity of the people of God, the triumph of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, and the final triumph of Christ, the King of the Universe, when there will no longer be divisions, and we will be one people under the one God. Father José María Fernández Rojas, has remained beside Luz de María as her confessor from the beginning of her locutions and visions, and two priests work with her permanently. The messages she receives are audio recorded by two people and then transcribed by a nun. One priest makes spelling corrections, then another gives the messages a final review before uploading them to the website to be shared with the world. The messages have been gathered into a book entitled, Thy Kingdom Come, and on March 19, 2017, Bishop Juan Abelardo Mata Guevara, Bishop of Esteli, Nicaragua, granted them the imprimatur of the Church. Thank you for supporting my channel. May God bless you and keep you.